What's up guys, it's Jared Tuck here. Today I'm going to bring you an interesting video. Uh, I think it's something that a lot of guys on YouTube who make fishing videos don't do and that's why I think it'll be interesting content for you all. So I have my fishing bag here. Um, I take this cheap old bag everywhere I go fishing, whether that be fishing in a boat, fishing off the bank, anywhere I go fishing I bring this bag. I may bring another book bag but I just feel like a book bag is the easiest way to do it. So what I did is I emptied out my book bag already. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you guys how I prepare for a fishing trip. So it's Thursday night right now. Um, this Sunday I'm going fishing. A lot of guys forget to mention the rigging and preparation that goes into catching fish. I think that's important for you all to see in order to learn from it. And that's why I'm making this video. Let's get right to it. So the bag is empty. The first thing I'm going to do is kind of put the essentials in my bag. The things that I'm going to need. Uh, just to be out there fishing. This is usually stuff I'm going to take every time I go fishing. And then there's other things I'll bring that I don't normally take. So the first thing, arguably the most important thing, to bring with you is scissors. So I'm going to put these scissors in the bag. I usually just put them in the side pocket where they're easily accessible in the place where you normally put a water bottle. And that way I'm pulling them out real quick and use them if I need to. Just because it's supposed to be cold, um, I'm going to put a toboggan in here and then also a pair of gloves to stay warm if I need to. And just some background information, I'm going fishing on the river. Um, this is a fairly large river. Uh, it has a lot of current. It has primarily smallmouth bass in it, but also has walleye and muskie. We're mainly going to be targeting walleye and smallmouth. I'm primarily going to be targeting smallmouth, but I could catch a walleye. So that's just some information regarding this fishing trip. And that will kind of give you guys an idea of what goes into my thought process behind this. The next thing is, just in case, you never know what's going to happen, bring a flashlight. So, I'm going to put a flashlight in here. You don't really need to have that very accessible, so I kind of stuff it down in the bottom. I bring a microfiber cloth, too, to wipe off my camera. A lot of guys will bring, like, a separate bag for their camera. I usually just have mine sitting to the side. But if you film, um, bring a microfiber cloth. Really helpful, like that. Uh, it'll clean off your camera lens and make your picture more clear. Next thing is my GoPro. So again, you film like me, you have to bring a GoPro uh, or else you guys wouldn't be able to see the videos. So put that in there. I'll put that on whenever I get to the spot I'm fishing or whatever and then go from there. Next thing is a scale. I always try to bring a scale. I don't use them much for some reason. I guess when I get caught up in the moment, I forget um, to use the scale. But I need to show you guys the weights of my fish more often. Um, and I always double check to make sure my scale is working and it looks like it is. Turn it back off so it doesn't run the battery dead. And I also put that in the side pocket with the scissors. Always bring some of this too. Uh, this was actually already in my bag. It stays in my bag at all times. Various reasons, but you guys probably already know why. All right, so that's what I would consider my essentials. I might bring a water bottle or something like that along with me as well, or maybe even a little snack, but I haven't got that far yet. That's usually the last thing I do in preparation, but now I'm going to switch over to the lures. I basically have this plastic tub full of tackle trays. I have even more at home. This is just what I have here with me at college. I'm going to lay my bag to the side for a moment, go through here and see what I need with you guys and just show you guys how I got things organized. Um, but this is subject to change. I'm planning on changing the way I organize stuff, but I just haven't had time to do it. So this is basically line. There's an eye bobber in here, extra scale. Um, and then looks like there's a miscellaneous jerk bait in there. I need to take that out probably. And then I have like this little plastic bowl where I just keep random baits. And then I have a bunch of missile baits just kind of laying over here, sitting off to the side. We won't need those, so that's why I've laid them over there. Also have a random Mega Bass Vision 110 that I bought the other day. These guys run about 25 bucks. I finally broke in and bought one um, just because I felt like I needed to. So I'm going to probably try that out this weekend. So what I'm going to do is, is take that out of there, trash the packaging, and I need to go through here and find my jerkbait box. Let's see. This looks like jerkbaits here. So here's a box full of jerkbaits. I'll just take this bait, plop it in there. And because a jerkbait is such an essential wintertime lure, I'm going to bring this whole box of baits. So we'll lay this to the side. It's going to go in our bag, but before we do that, I'm going to look through the other baits and see what I need. So this is my terminal tackle box. It always goes with me everywhere I go, so this will definitely go as well. Let me show you guys what I have in here real quick. 
just various hooks. Um, I have a random tube and Ned rig and a little jig there. And then some swim baits. I love fishing swim baits and some spinner baits. Don't mind the baits. Those are kind of miscellaneous. But mostly this is just terminal tackle and hooks and weights. Stuff like that. Stuff you need um, with you at all times. A couple little crappy jigs here. Again, don't mind those. This is my terminal tackle box. That'll go with me no matter what. So we got two boxes that are going to go in our bag. Okay, most of these soft plastics I won't need. I have some more soft plastics at home and some more soft plastics in here, but those I won't really need. But I will bring these little um, Gary Yamamoto baby crawls. I might use them as a jig trailer, I don't know. Top water won't need that. Let's see here. Here's some crawls and jig trailers. What I'm going to do here is this is basically full of jig trailers. I'm going to pick out a few that I might need. Here's a chunk green pumpkin trailer, another chunk green pumpkin trailer, and then we'll pick out one of these. I'm just going to use these as jig trailers. And I always leave room in my terminal tackle box for those random baits that I was showing you all. And so I'm going to throw them in here. Looks like there's already a couple jig trailers in there. But we'll have those just in case we decide to fish a jig. Alright, so here's my jig box full of jigs. The water's going to be clear, so I don't think we'll need a black and blue. I have black and blue trailers just in case. But what we'll do is, is I have a football jig tied on a rod already, so that's ready to go. But what I'll do here is bring this little Arky Head Green Pumpkin jig. We'll bring these two jigs just in case. And I'll throw these in my terminal box as well. Here's some flukes. Won't need flukes this time of year. Topwater frogs and buzz baits. Won't need those. Let's see. Chatter baits, spoons, random crap. Won't need any of that. Alright, here's some crank baits. Let's just bring a lipless crank bait with us. Shag colored lipless crank bait. What I'll do is just toss this lipless crankbait in my jerkbait box. It'll go fine in there. That way I have a different presentation if I need it. Then I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm going to grab a couple other crankbaits too. Um, I'm going to bring this crankbait. And then I'm going to bring these. So let's bring these three deep divers too. Just to have. And the deep divers, again, I'm going to put these in the jerkbait box. There's just a ton of crap in this box right now. It'll do. And I'm thinking these deep diving crankbaits, they might get bit this time of year. A jerkbait, a crankbait, and a jig are probably my favorite baits this time of year. So that's what I'm going to bring. Like I said, I already have some swim baits in here, so it doesn't look like we need any more swim baits. Um, I love to fish these swim baits all times of year. Kitek swim baits, they're just great. Uh, I can do a video on that if you guys would like to see that comment below. Um, but that's pretty much it for this box. I could fish a drop shot, I could fish a Cinco, but I don't think I'm going to bring those with me on this trip. So, I think we're pretty much set to go. That was pretty quick, guys. I have some jig trailers, some jigs, some jerk baits, some crank baits, uh, spinner baits even if I need those, and then I have some swim baits. And that's pretty much all I'm going to need for this time of year. So I limited my tackle from that whole big box to just two trays and one thing of soft plastics just to bring. Uh, I could even throw these in the box if I wanted to too. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we've officially condensed our tackle down to two trays. That's great. I don't like to carry a bunch of crap just because I already have enough camera equipment to deal with. And then after this, I'll just throw some GoPro batteries in this bag and we'll be set. You don't need to bring all of these just to go fishing on the river for four hours. So that's why I condensed my tackle down. Uh, a lot of guys will bring all their tackle with them every time they go fishing. There's really no point. Uh, you're not going to fish top waters um, in the dead of winter, so why bring them? Condense your tackle down. Make it easier on yourself. Uh, that way you don't have to go through all this crap again whenever you come back. 
But anyway, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's my tackle bag video, my rigging video, whatever you want to call it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up down below. I know it's kind of a different video than I normally do. But as always, go take some fishing. Thank you.